Hey there, this is DIY Life Guide coming at you, and today I'm going to be explaining to you how I built a alternating tread staircase. These alternating stairs behind me allow me to access my sleeping loft. The reason I built alternating tread stairs is because they're much more space efficient than a regular set of stairs. Because the notches are cut in an alternating pattern, it allows the staircase to be set at a stronger pitch than a normal staircase would, but it doesn't lack any of the safety because the notch itself gives more room for the foot to land on the step below it. So you're still getting a full foot of tread to, to walk on, but you're able to do it at a deeper pitch and it's still safe. That's the advantage of alternating tread stairs. It definitely saves a lot of space and they're pretty easy to build. I will walk you through it. Let's get started. So the cool thing about these stairs is that they only require four two by tens to construct. And other than that, I do have some two by four support pieces underneath here, but it's very efficient on materials and pretty cheap to actually build. To get started, you wanna measure the area from the top of the loft to the ground. And for me, I have a five foot 10 loft to get to the bedded area. So I started by taking a two by 10 and leaning it against this and then marking a line vertical. And then I did the same thing down here. I took the, the, uh, the two by 10 and I had it on a, at a point here. And then I just measured what would be a flat line along the two by 10 and then I cut it. And it's gonna take a couple bits of trial and error to do it, but you do get to the point where you can lean this up against this support post of the bed and then the other side rests on the, the ground there. So once you have one of these lined up correctly, you just, to make another one, you can just lay this one on top of another two by 10 and then make a trace and then cut from there. And this one actually can be nailed into the wall as well, as opposed to this one's just nailed to the ground and is nailed to the loft bed itself. You want to figure out how wide you want your stairs to be and I wouldn't recommend making the stair any less wide than 20 inches just for safety sake you need to have enough stepping room to get up safely. You also don't want to have more than seven inches of rise in between each stair. That way the stairs aren't too steeply aligned. And for me to figure out how many steps that I needed, I just took the height of the loft, five foot 10, and then I divided it by seven inches. I have nine stairs. You can cut the boards to length and then nail them in from the side here into the actual wood. And also you can toenail some nails in there underneath as well. Underneath each one of these steps here, I put a two by four support on the back of the piece. And that way this will make this even stronger and able to hold more weight. I would recommend cutting the notch of the top stair to the end of the bottom stair. And then you can cut it basically at the halfway mark. And this will give enough room for a full foot to step up on the stairs because if this notch wasn't here there wouldn't be enough space this this wood would be in the way so that's what makes the alternating tread stairs even more safe than regular stairs finish with staining and sealing the wood and for me as an added touch i before i sealed it i spray painted some glow-in-the-dark paint on the lip of the step that way at night you can see step pretty well. Then I just covered it in sealer. Well, I appreciate you tuning in and if you've made it this far, hit like or subscribe. For the full tutorial, go to www.diylifeguide.com. See you again.